What's going on everyone, Burbank Aviation and welcome back to another video. Today we have the October 2024 Charleston International Airport Update. We have a very exciting airport update with seasonal services returning, frequency changes, and all sorts of stuff to go over here in today's video. Really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. But anyways, let's just get started. I'm going to start over here uh, knocking out these two aircraft. I'm going to start right here with this United 77 MAX 9. This guy's going to be taxiing out to the runway for the flight on over to Washington Dulles Army Turnaround Service. Washington Dulles is a three daily, mainly seeing that E-175 from both Mesa and Republic and the 77 MAX 9. But you will also get a Commute Air E-145 on Fridays and Saturdays. We also have this American 77-800 right here. This guy's also taxing to the runway. Uh, he's going to be heading on over to Dallas-Fort Worth after arriving from Charlotte. Dallas getting around a four daily, dipping down to three daily on Saturday. Mainly seeing that 77-800, but you do get an AT-21 in on Sunday. Charlotte anywhere from mainly nine daily, dips down to seven daily on Saturdays. Uh, mainly seeing that PSA COJ-900, A321, and 737-800, but you will see an AT-19 on the weekdays. Sorry about that, but we're going to continue right on over here. This is a uh, Gate Bravo 2. Uh, right here with the Southwest 737-700 is in the Heart 1 livery with the winglets. And this guy's going to be heading on over to Baltimore after arriving in from Nashville. Baltimore is seeing a 3-4 to four daily right now that we've had that for quite a few months. Uh, Nashville is seeing a uh, two daily, but on the weekends it does go up to three daily. Southwest 77 800. This is in uh, the Heart One livery split skim tars. It'd be nice if it focus uh, nicely, though. He's going to be heading on over to Dallas after arriving in from Denver. Um, actually, we'll have this guy heading over to Dallas after arriving in from St. Louis as that seasonal service has returned. Uh, Dallas, we are getting a. One daily over there, and then St. Louis is a Saturday and Sunday only. JetBlue AT20-300 right here. And this guy's going to be heading on over to uh, Boston after arriving in from New York, John F. Kennedy. Boston is a two daily AT20-300. JFK is mainly a two daily, seeing one AT20 and one AT20-300. But then on Wednesdays and Saturdays, you do lose that AT20. Frontier AT20 Neo right here. Er, yeah, 820 Neo. This guy's gonna be heading on over to the uh, turnaround service out to Philadelphia. Does a two weekly Sunday and Friday. Um, 820 service out there. Spirit. Um, this 820 Neo as well is gonna be heading on over to. Um. We'll do New York LaGuardia after arriving in from Newark. Uh, Newark and LaGuardia are both six weekly. A uh, Newark not having a Wednesday flight. LaGuardia not having a Saturday flight. We do have quite a bit of news to go over here uh, for Spirit, which we will do in another just a little bit. Have this American Eagle e 5 uh, right here. This guy is going to be heading on over to my or uh, no Miami, Chicago. Oh, or say this guy's heading on over to Miami after arriving in Chicago here. Miami is a two daily getting one e 5 uh, from Envoy 177-800. O'Hare getting just one daily even send five from Envoy. And right here we have another American 77-800. I haven't been able to put two uh, 77s for American in here. If It's been a long time if I've ever done it. Um, this guy's going to be heading on over to um, Philadelphia on the turnaround service. I was actually supposed to do Miami for the 77-800. Uh, Philadelphia on the turnaround service. Philadelphia is seeing anywhere from uh, four to five daily. Uh, mainly seeing an A319 and an A320. Uh, you do see a CRJ-700 from PSA, a Republic US N5, and then you will see the 77-800 on Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. You have the United Express E170 uh, right here. This guy is going to be heading on over to. Um, this guy's heading on over to Chicago Hair after arriving in from Houston. Chicago Hair is a three daily, getting one Republican and send five, one into 20, one sent to 800. Houston is a two daily, getting one Mesa and send five, 
and an AC-19. We have the United 77 Max 8 right here. Um, focus, that'd be awesome. United 77 Max 8, this guy's gonna be heading on over to Denver after arriving in from um, Newark. Denver is just a one daily 77 Max 8, uh, very simple right there. Newark is a three daily, mainly seeing that Max 8 and the A319, uh, but you will also see a 77 700 and a Republic E175. Uh, you have this, uh, rotate over here, and it's not going to be able to work though. Breeze 820-300 right here. Uh, this guy is coming in from, we'll say, Tampa, and he'll be continuing on over to West Palm Beach. Uh, West Palm Beach is a seasonal service that has returned. Very nice to see that. Tampa is a one daily 820-300. Very nice to see that right there. Got the Breeze E195 uh, right here. This guy's gonna be heading on over to say Windsor Locks after arriving in from New Orleans. New Orleans is a four weekly, getting it Sunday, Monday, Thursday, Friday. Windsor Locks is a one daily, uh, getting the E195 on Sundays and Thursdays, 8 to 20 rest of the days. Got this Alaska 77-9 GR right here. This guy's doing the not stop turn around service on over to Seattle. Uh, Seattle has been a one daily for quite some time, mainly seeing the 77-800 and 9 GR. Uh, we were getting the max 9 quite a bit last month, uh, not seeing that too much anymore. We have this Delta 820-300 right here. This guy's gonna be heading on over to New York LaGuardia after arriving in from Boston. LaGuardia is mainly seeing a four daily, dipping down to three daily on Saturdays. Uh, mainly seeing a Republic UNC 5, and the AT20-100, but you do see the AT20-300 on Monday through Saturday. Have this Delta Connection, CRJ-900. Uh, this guy's gonna be heading on over to New York John F. Kennedy after arriving in from Detroit. Both these services are a three daily CRJ-900. Uh, very nice to see that consistency right there. And then finally, we have this Delta 757-200. This guy's gonna be heading on over to Atlanta on the turnaround service. Uh, Atlanta is anywhere from a 7 to 9 daily, mainly 9 daily. Um, seeing mainly the 77-900 GR and 757-200. Um, but you do get an 8021 on Sundays, and then you will see some 77-800s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Alright, so we do have quite a bit to go over here. Uh, some good, some bad. We're going to start here uh, with United. Got a little bit of news for them that it's focusing on even 70 better uh that dole service is now to three daily for two daily so very nice to see that uh frontier philadelphia is down to a uh two weekly from three weekly spirit had a massive route cut out of charleston you had las vegas you have las vegas that will end november 6th of next month or this year so we should be able to get that in one more update uh, but then you have Detroit, Boston, and Baltimore. All three of those services have ended. Uh, Baltimore and I think Boston as well were both suspended at the time. Uh, Southwest, some pretty good news right here. You have Houston up to a one daily from Saturday only. Very nice jump for that. And then St. Louis, that seasonal service has returned on a weekend only basis. Breeze has quite a bit of news as they always do. Cincinnati down to a two weekly from four weekly. Pittsburgh down to a four weekly from five weekly. New Orleans down to a four weekly from five weekly. Uh, Providence down to a six weekly from eight weekly. Um, White Plains is now a five weekly down from six weekly. That's all the bad news. Uh, Tampa is up to a one daily from six weekly. Orlando up to a four weekly from three weekly. Wizard Locks is now up to a one daily from five weekly. And then West Palm Beach, that seasonal service has returned. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure uh, to like and subscribe. It's really help me out. Sorry, I haven't been getting as many airport updates as I'd like to out as of recently. Um, hopefully, this month will be a little bit better. Um, expect a lot of footage to come um, going to the Camarillo Airport the day of recording to see some very cool stuff. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy that. And then we have the Pacific Air Show tomorrow. So expect a ton of videos from that. Um, really, really excited, uh, for what's to come. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.